Hi, <clears throat> my name is Dirk Horton, and welcome to Building Math Courage. Today we're going to focus on the next step on the 10 by 10 abacus, and we're going to do a little review from our introduction, but also we're going to focus on adding by grouping fives. One of the beauties of the 10 by 10 abacus, it's a visual and kinesthetic learning experience. A lot of times memorizing the um, early on the math facts um, can be frustrating but this way with the visualization and uh, the keeping numbers in your head and, and especially mental math it really helps. So let's take a look. First of all again I want you to focus on the abacus and realize that this abacus is designed for looking at patterns that involve fives and tens. You notice there are ten rows of ten. There's only two colors. And the, uh, the beads are in groups of five. This allows for a real super visualization of the properties of our number system. And adding fives and tens are very easy. So, let's give it a try. Adding by grouping, fives. Anyway, take a look at this. If you're trying to add 7 plus 5, you to very typically you learn by getting a, uh, either saying 7 and then counting 5. And by the way, counting is not a good idea when in learning addition, unless you're doing very small uh, and it's a beginning. I, re I don't recommend it. Um, but let's say you're adding 7 and 5. Well, you can take that 2 out of the 7 and say that this is the same thing as 5 plus 5 plus 2, which is the same as 10 plus 2, which is 12. If you look at these, uh, all three of these are good examples. But this can be confusing. Look what happens when you use the abacus to do this. All right, here's our friend, the 10 by 10 abacus. And let's take and put 7 and 5. All right, what's beautiful about that, when you put this out here, you can visualize that that's really nothing more than 5, 5, which is 10, and 2. The other thing you can do with the abacus is to use the in and out procedure to verify this. It's a lot of fun. There's a variety of ways to use this. And the in and out says, okay, let's take and bring in three, but we got to bring out three. Some people call this give and take. And the answer is easy to read and verify here. There's ten in all the beads in one row, plus two more. This really works so well with beginners and also students who are having trouble doing their mental math. All right, how about six and six? There you go. Well, I hope you can visualize that, that that's also very easy to see that that is 10 plus two. Just, you can view that in your mind without the ab abacus. And again, let's play in and out. So we bring in four, but we gotta bring out four. And there you have it. There's 6 plus 6 is 12. All right, let's try one more. 8 and 6. Okay, again, I want you to note, you can say, hey, look at that. I can visualize that there's 10 and then 4 more. That's 14. Well, if you want to use the in and out to verify, all you got to do is say, okay, I'm going to bring in two, and I'm going to bring out two. And that's 14. Again, that is actually a combination of grouping by fives and grouping by tens. It's interesting. All right, why don't we try adding by grouping tens. Let's take a look. All right, if you take a look at 7 plus 5, 
Okay? Again, we just did that in the last business. We said, hey, you can also make that a 10, all right, by taking a 3 out of the 5 and adding a 2, and you end up with 12 again. So, you know, this, the problem we did before, this is the exact same one. Uh, only you'll find out that the 10s, for some kids, it's another way of getting this. By the way, you can see there's a mistake here, huh? Uh, I didn't notice that when I printed it out, but let's take a look at this, okay? Are you ready? Adding by grouping 10s. Well, let's take a 7 and a 5. And what we want to do again is, wait a minute, we're going to group by 10s. We're going to take 3 from here and put it here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 3 here and put it here. That's the same thing as out and in we did before. 7 plus 5 is 12. Well, let's do a few more complicated things. Um, we're going to do 9 and 6, right? So here we go. Here's 9 and 6. Well, let's group by 10s. We're going to take this one and put it here. And the best way to do that is to do this. Take that one and put it there. 9 plus 6 is 15. I'll tell you what, this abacus in visualization, you can practice all kinds of addition and realize that what we're dealing with is a number system that makes it, you can make addition and subtraction very friendly. Anyway, let's try 28 and 6. Right. Well, look at this. We can take this. Let's take a look at this. We can take And what do you have? 34. 28 and 6 is 34. Let's try it one more time. 28 and 6. Well, here's an easy. We're going to take 2 and just change them. We took a 2 from here and put it here to make this a 10. This is grouping by 10s. That's 36. How about 18 and 16? Woohoo! There's 18. And you know, you can separate this out if you want to. So the kids can see this maybe easier. All right. 18 and 16. Well, what do you say we do this? Now notice that's 10, 20, 34. Having students practice this and having the, written the numbers out right next to it can really learn to see and look at the patterns and learn all kinds of fun things about numbers. There's a variety of ways to get to the answer, which, by the way, is a very important idea in math. There's not just one way. Thank you very much. We'll continue with our abacus. I hope that this is, um, these lessons are valuable. Have yourself a fine day.